Welcome everybody. We got a smoker from Randy. Um, just, just a great, great song. This is one back, man. I, I honestly thought I'd never be able to play this. I really did. Um, there used to be a band that would come to Toledo, and if anybody knows about them, they were from Detroit, and their name was Flight. And those guys were so professional. Their sound, their their covers were just killer. And I remember being drunk and one of those idiots. Yeah, one of those idiots. I was 18, 19, trying to talk to the guitar player about how he played this. And, you know, I feel sorry for him now. But anyhow, if anybody knows anything about a Detroit cover band called Flight, I tried looking up, and it's such a kind of common name it's hard to find anything. So anyhow, I'd appreciate it if you put something in the comments. We are tuned to E flat. I've written this out for you. Um, this will really help. There are some overdubs in this. I will speak to those. We'll go over the solo. I'll show you it as best as I can. I'm not a tapping person at all. Never even tried to be. I do think with some effort this tapping would be approachable. So with Randy, of course, the technique is spectacular. Um, I'll show you how I believe he plays it, and I will also discuss a couple things you can do to play it if you're not to that technical proficiency. You know, practice it, work up to it, but again, I'll show you a couple things you can do. Um, I do want to mention I saw Randy on both of Ozzy's tours, um, the first album and Diary of a Madman, and I was learning guitar and I, all my friends got high and drunk and I literally sat there and watched him for two hours a couple times and um, it, it was incredible, just, just simply incredible. So, sorry to digress, this intro, um, this very first section is the only time it happens in the song. Uh, Randy uses, as typical of Randy, some chord inversions like a D or part of it and normal uh, power chords. So I'll speak to that. Um, the song starts out, it's like they come in and he starts on an open G hammered into A. It's very, very fast, but it, it, it works. So you'll notice that I can open G with the fourth, third, and second string hammered into an A. And then we're going to add this third fret of the second string and fourth fret of the fourth string and it's referencing a D chord but some people call it A suspended then he goes to open G on the fourth and third string and then two A's it's the only time he does this in the song alright the next part he does a lot we're gonna go A to our I'm going to call this A suspended, okay? We're going to go A, A suspended to a G. So there's a bit of a pause between each chord. And then we're going to go to a few notes. We'll hit the 5th string, 2nd fret to the 3rd fret, and then a D power chord. So we're not going to use the 1st string. Alright, so the intro up to that point. One, two, three, four. Then he takes part of a C chord on the fourth and third string and gives it a slight bend and release. And then open to G. And then back to our A and A suspended. Now, this is where it gets tricky because he quickly brings up his third finger to the sixth string with a slight bend at the third fret. And then A power chord back to that 
6th string, 3rd fret, another bend. Now again, it's, it's timing, it's technique. If that's too difficult, you know, practice it. But you really want to play this to impress somebody. Just use that 4th fret of the 4th string with that A. Okay, it, it's fine. It works. All right. Rather than the full. And the second B is more of a slight pause, pull down. Again, it's really, you, you know the song. You know it by heart, I'm sure, if you're watching this. So, and he's got a little delay, which I had on earlier in reverb that I turned off. So, um, we can go through this. All right, now after our two G's, we're going back to our A, A suspended to G power chord. And this time when we go two to three, it'll be a hammer on to the D power chord. And then we do a nice little lick. And this is pitch harmonic. So get your pick as close as you can to the strings as you pluck it and you'll get these nice little harmonics. So we're hitting the first fret of the second string and pulling off to open twice. Then we'll go to the second fret of the third string pulled off to open, fourth string pulled off to open, and then the third fret of the fifth string with a slight bend. That's the opening intro measure. So verse 1 starts out, you'll see the theme of the song, it kind of follows the intro again. That first section we don't do again, but the rest of it we pretty much do. This first part will start out with our A to A suspended, and then quickly jump into the 6th string, back to A, back to the 6th string. Right, and then our A, A suspended to G power chord with a 2 to 3 hammer and then two Ds. And then, again with the first verse, he does another um, C with a slight bend. I found pushing up on the two fifth frets works for me. Push up, release, and then open G. And then we start the, if you will, lick again. That second G, you'll hear an overdub. So the other guitar that's overdubbed is playing the 20th fret of the second string. With some vibrato and a bend, okay? I noted that in my notes. And then we're back to our um, A suspended with G. And then this nice little lick, which is on the uh, fourth and third string. And we're going to hit eight, slid to seven, back to eight, slid back to seven, and then five. And then it takes us into the pre chorus. All right, so that's first one. My notes will help you if you have any questions. The pre-chorus is consistent throughout the song. There's, oh, think of it as two distinct parts. There's one based on that kind of chording, and then there's another where we do an F sharp. So there's two parts to it. The first measure, again, I know I said there's two parts to it, but think of this first part as section A. All right, we're gonna go our A to our A suspended, all right, and then open on the fourth and third to another A power chord. And then we do a nice little, oh, we'll call it partial lick to a chord. All right, so it'll sound like this. Let's just take it there. All right, so think of part A, 
are A to suspended to G to A. Then we go open sixth string to third fret, no bend, open fifth string to an A, but we're gonna add the fifth fret of the four, I'm sorry, the first and second string. All right, it just adds a little more flavor to that A power chord. Ted Nuge uses this a lot in a uh, bottle of wine. All right, so we have this. We'll do that again. Now the next part, he's gonna hit that open sixth string, but he's gonna go to second fret, and then open fifth string. And then he jumps to a D, but he adds a suspended to it. And we're not playing the D root, all right, D fifth string. We're going to be on the fourth string at seven, barred, catching the second string at uh, eight. All right, so we have. Then we just lift off and do a D referenced at the seventh fret of the fourth and third string to C. All right, and then we go to open G. So we have this so far. Um, We'll just start from the beginning of the pre-chorus. One, two, three, four. Then it starts again. parts of the first section of the chorus repeat all right and then we're into where he says it's a little bit different uh, feel because you you know can't see inside of me or whatever he says but what we're doing is this <laughs> So, you can see that takes us out of the chorus and back into it. So, part two of this pre-chorus starts with this F sharp minor, and we're only playing the, the fourth fret of the fourth string and the second fret of the third and second string. All right, from there, we're gonna go up and just use the fourth and third string Move up a step, so we're at two and four. We're gonna not play the second string, but we'll move it up a step. And then we go up a half step, but we move our middle finger down. So we'll be on the sixth and seventh fret of the third and fourth string. Back, forward, and then to a D power chord. And then he'll hear him play the suspended second. So we just leave that open first string and kind of upstrum on him twice. All right. So together, one, two, three, four. Repeats. So out of the pre-chorus, we go reprise the intro. The intro is basically the chords we've learned with a couple different nuances. All right, that gets us into the verse two. So it will sound like this. I'll go through it. It's easier to show you these. Um, I wrote them out as two measures because they didn't quite fit, but it's really this intro reprised measure. Okay, 
So the first one starts out all the way through the G. Then we know the two to three hammer on to a D power chord. And then we're going to hear this lick. It's open, hammered on to five, and then open, hammered on to five again, and then open, hammered into four once, and then open, hammered into two, the second fret, twice, and then we come back with the chords. So that lick slowly, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Then we come back in with our chords. Now after we go from the sixth string, the first three um, bent to the A power chord, we're going to come to a fourth uh, fret of the fourth string and a slight bend. So rather than come back to that G note, he's going to this and bending up to a G on this fourth string F sharp. Alright, so we have this. And then we come back with our uh, lick to G. And then we just do that lick we did earlier to take us into the pre-chorus, but this takes us into the verse. So now we're into the verse. Verse 2, again, he does some different things at certain points. So verse 2 starts out just like verse 1. You know, we know our lick. And then he does the C bent slightly and release to G. Okay, and then back into the lick. The difference is, again, the second G, he's not going to the F sharp. He hits a harmonic on the fourth string at the fifth fret. So, second time through it. Then he does the five bent and release to open again. And that takes us into pre-chorus two, which we've already learned. All the same. Pre-chorus two is the same. There's no licks or anything that's different. Out of that, we are into the very first chorus. For this first chorus, the first part is going to be so what we're doing, A power chord to the third fret of the sixth string, slight pull down to two more A power chords, and then referencing C to D on the fourth and third string from five to seven. And then we do an open G on the fourth and third string to a C. That's the second or B part of the chorus. Alright, so both of those together, one, two, three, four. Alright, now he's not going to leave it the same, is he? Right, so we're going to do part A the same. will sound like this. So all we do is slide from five to four. Alright, so the second half of the measure of the chorus. We'll do that again. And then we end on the D. solo rhythm starts with the solo. So the solo rhythm starts out with the second half of our pre-chorus, our F sharp and up. Then we go into 
chords. All right, so we know that part. Again, it's in my notes. The power chords are A fifth power chord to an F sixth to a D five. We'll move down to a B flat five, and then you'll hear and we just grab the sixth string, slide up to an E five to a C5, back to an A5, and then F6. And then we are into chorus two. You'll hear a lick there. the intro again. So like I said the power chords are all written out for the solo rhythm. Chorus 2 is exactly like chorus 1. Intro reprise 2. What do we do? We change the licks. All right. So intro reprise second time. <laughs> So what's different here is the lick. After we come out of the G with our 2 to 3 and D power chord, we're going to do 3rd string, 4th fret pulled off to 2, pulled off to open twice. Move that to the 4th string once. And then just hit an open A and then go back into so. What's a little different is when we go into this 8 to 7, it's two 8 to 7 slides, but then 5 is not slid into. So just a little nuance there, but I want to make you aware of it if you're going to play along with the song. So we are into verse 3, then we got pre-chorus 3, and then chorus 3 takes us out. Verse 3 is different in the fact that it's pretty straightforward. There's no real licks between uh, the measure or the half measure. Um, he's just doing... And then he just goes, and he goes C without a bend and then G. does it twice. So verse 3 is actually kind of simple compared to what we've done before. Um, and that leads us into pre-chorus 3. So pre-chorus 3 is slightly different. Um, it's shorter in the fact we don't go to the F sharp and slide up with those dyads. We don't do that. We're just doing that. do that twice and then we go into chorus three. So that's a little bit different there with uh, pre-chorus three. Chorus three takes us out. It's just two repeating motifs. Um, there's an overdub part and I'll show you that in a second. But the two parts are this. <laughs> So one with our C to G, and one with our C slid back to B, and then G, okay? So that repeats until they fade out. Uh, there is another overdub guitar that will do this. <laughs> So what we're doing is just the first section up to 
the D. And then we grab an octave, all right? This octave will be on the fourth string at the fifth fret and the second string fret. So you hold those two, muting the third string, slide it up a full step and then back. Really nicely done. And like I said, that will fade out. So we're going to go over the lick that I talked about earlier and the solo and you'll have the whole song. So in the song, technically you'd have the solo and then out of the solo you would go into chorus two. Chorus two has the lick I spoke about earlier and it's noted in my notes. Um, so I'm going to go over that because it's nice and short and easy. So basically what we're doing is we're going to be up at the 20th fret, all right, through 19. And we're going to hit 20 bent, and then 20 pulled off twice. So we have this. So he's bending up 20, and then pulling 20 to 17 twice. Hitting 17 on the second string. And then on the third string, a 19 bent and released and pulled off to 17. Alright, so that's a little lick you'll hear. Okay, first part of the solo <laughs> won't necessarily sound like this, but it's fun to play. <laughs> yeah, I'm not Randy Rhodes. I can't play as fast as him, and I'm sure some of you can, so that's great. Um, it's it, it's still these are really good licks to put in your bag of licks uh, So what he does is start out on the first string at 14 to the second string 17 pulled off to 14 and then hitting 16 Very slight bend, but then he'll repeat that and the repeat is four times The uh, after the fourth time we're gonna go through the scale It'll be 17, 16, 14, 17, 15, 14, and then 17 with the blue note in the scale to 16, 14. Then we come to the fourth string. We're going to hit 16, 14 to 12, move to 11, and hammer on to 12 and pull off to 11. At that point, we're going to hammer... I'm sorry, pull off 12 to 11 and then hit 12 and 14. Down to 11 on the third, back to 14. So we're, we're ascending now. And then we take 11 and just slide to 12. And then 14 pulled off to 12. 14 slid to 16. All right, so. We have this so far. So we have this so far. Then we go 14, 17 on the second string. And then 14, hammer down to 15, pulled off to 14 on the first string. There's a slight, slight pause there. And then you'll hear two 17s on the second string. All right. So let's go, that's the first two measures of the solo. We'll do them together slowly. One, two, three, four. Really, really. I just love the way he descends and ascends the scale, including this next part, which is palm muted up to about the third string. Alright, so I'm going to stop there because it's really, really awesome to learn this. Um, it's just one of those things back when I was trying to learn, I'm like, what are they doing? I, I could never quite figure that out. So what we're doing is 14 to 12 on the 6th string, coming to 12 on the 5th string, back to 14 on 6th. 
then 14 to 12 on the fifth, and we move positions and go 16 to 14 on the fifth string, then a fourth string. All right, so we have this. At that point, we start moving what I'll call forward because we're going to go 14 to 16 on the third string and kind of let off the palm music. And then we go 14, 15 on the second string twice and then twill it for a count of two. And then he ends on 16 on the third string. All right. Okay, so that palm muted part, one, two, three, four. All right, at this point it gets really hard. Um, what he does, he's going 10th position and he's going to hammer into 14. And then he's going to come to the, that's on the second string. And then he's going to go to the first string. 10, hammered on to 14, pulled back off to 10. He's going to go between the first and second string with this type of lick. So we're going to do 10, 14, 10 on the first and then second string. All right, so those first three. Then we stretch up to 15. And we'll do that four times. All right, we'll do it one more time, but the second string we go to 14. So it'll be 15 and then 14. Right, and then two more 14s, two more 15s, and then he slides from the first string 10 to 17, and then 12s, 17 pulled, or hammered into 19. Okay, like I said, this is where it gets tough. So the tapping section, as I've written it out, the red letters or numbers are what we tap and the numbers are what we pull off to in black all right um, I also wrote the chords over this because each one of these taps go for four counts and they follow when we come out of the because the first half of the lead up to this point was all over the F sharp um, minor <laughs> We did that twice. That was up to this point. Now we went into the chords. A, then the F, then D. Okay. So with that said, over the A, we're going to be in the ninth position with our fretting hand and 12 on the pinky. And we're going to hit tap, I should say 17, and pull off to 12. And then tap it again and pull off to 12 and then pull off to 9. Again, <laughs> not the best, but that's what he's doing. And then we take that, move our uh, fingers up a half step, everything. So now we're on, but also a string. So now we're on the second string, 10 and 11, and we're tapping um, 18. Same pattern. Okay, we'll do that four times and then we move up again a string and a half step uh, even with our tapping finger all right so now we are over the D chord all right so 14 to, um, I'm sorry we're going to tap 19 and 14 and then to 11 all right and there's one more for the F. We move at this point to um, the next position, next string. So we're on the D string now. We're going to be tapping 20 here with the uh, fourth string and then pulling off to 15 and then tapping again 20 to 15 to 12. Oh, that's painful.
painful. Now, what I tried to do, and just to digress a little bit because we change from this point to a different position when we come to the E chord. But what I tried to do is like, well, if, if, if I transpose these notes, I'm, I'm tapping on the first string at 17, that's an A note. So if I take an A note on the second string and go to the rest of the... And then the next tap would be uh, this F note on the third string and then pull, that'd be to, uh, what is that, to 12, 13 and uh, 10. <laughs> you know, again, that would take practice and make it even sound decent, but it's an option. So, you know, we're all about options here. I'm old and can only do so much. What I do when I play this song is I'll do the first few licks of the solo and butcher that, and then I move to the chords. Um, that just works for me because I'm not that proficient at this speed, but that's okay. You know, I'm good with that. So, now, back to the solo. All right, so we finished up here, and then we're going to slide down from our 2015 and then um, 12. All right, and then he starts over. We'll be on an E chord. We start over again on the first string. This time, we'll be in the fourth position. We'll be tapping on 12, pulling off to 7, and then tapping on 12, to seven and then pulling off to the fourth fret. And we move that a string and a half step up for everything. Same with the third string. And then the fourth string. And then he slides down from there. So, again, my notes will really help. That is the whole song. Like I said, it's something I thought I'd never play. But, you know what? Um, you can. It just takes a little patience and enjoy the journey. So, I hope that helps everybody. That's why I'm here. Enjoy.